Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Live to Excel. In this episode, we'll work the Purple City Scenario from Modeloff.com. In this Excel file, I've taken some of the questions from the Purple City question from Modeloff.com. I'd like to work through it with you. All the questions from Modeloff.com can be found on their website. And here we're taking a look at Purple City on the website. There's not only the questions in PDF form, but also an Excel workbook that comes with the problem. So let's jump back to Excel. I've summarized the questions here along with the answers. And let's take a look at the data that's actually supplied. So in this example, what we need to do is take the given data for 24 teams, and we need to compile a number of answers determining how much it's going to cost for one team to fly to such and such city and so forth. So all those assumptions are given in that PDF document. The total squad size is 21 for each team, so 21 team members in each team, and each team plays the following rosters. So team A plays team B on this date in this city, and we have a complete list of all of the games. So there's a total of 67 matches. To make it even more complex, between each city flying from one airport to another are different rates for each person. So let's take a look at a couple of the questions and then we'll see how to proceed. So we need to know the total number of flights for the elephants, what's the expected flight cost for the frogs for the entire season, what's the expected flight cost for the entire competition, What's the total cost for all flights to Lime City? All flights from Blue City? We need to find out the total cost inclusive between two dates. And then a couple uh, wrenches thrown in these final last two questions, determining whether what the cost would be if one city was substituted for another, assuming that the green city was the starting and ending city as opposed to the purple city. So if you would like to go over those details and all those uh, the specifics of the question, just go to modeloff.com and you can see the PDF document there. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is create a new tab. And I'm gonna use Shift F11 to create a new tab. And then what I really need to do is get this team roster uh, schedule into a workable format. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it and uh, we'll move it over here into our new tab. So what I'd really like to do is get a listing of all teams in one column with the dates that they are uh, having their match and the city. So I'm going to cut Team A and paste it at the bottom of the Team B column. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy the dates and paste them below. I also need to paste uh, the city and round. Okay, so now we have a list in one column of the teams and on which date they're in which city which is perfect now that I have a workable list I'm gonna sort this list by team by date so I'm gonna highlight the range and use keyboard shortcut alt a s s to open up the sort box and then I wanna sort by team and add a level and then sort by date oldest to newest. Okay, so here we have the Anteaters, their first match is in the Purple City on the 7th of May. And then they'll fly from the Purple City after another match to the Pink City, then back to Purple, back to Pink. Okay, so that's great. So now let's see, I, what I really need to do now is assign uh, a match number to each one of the teams and each one of these line items. So this is the first match for the Anteaters, this is the second, this is the third, and so forth. So I'm going to say if uh, this cell is equal to the cell above it, uh, then I need to sum uh, the cell above it and 1. Otherwise, I want the value 1. Okay. What it does is it looks to see if this if this is anteaters and this is anteaters, I want one plus whatever was above it. Okay, but if this is different, uh, in other words, signifying or uh, showing a brand new team, I just want to start over at one. 
Okay, now I want to concatenate these two. So these are the uh, the numbers. Now I want to concatenate the team with the numbers. So ant eaters and uh, one. Okay, let's copy that down. Perfect. So now we have a, a lookup. So if I could just get the cities and uh, these numbers, I could do a lookup to see which city is where. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that list of all teams. I'm going to copy it. And over here, I'm going to uh, transpose it. So that's Alt-E-S-E. Okay, now I have a list of all the teams uh, horizontally. And now I can make my VLOOKUP. So what I need to do is uh, I'm going to look up Eagles. And what I need is some kind of counter. So I'm just going to use uh, rows. And what the rows does is it counts the number of rows between two things. So I'm going to use um, K2 and lock the row to K2. Okay, that's going to give me one row. So that's my now lookup value. It's going to be equals and one. And I need to look that up in this table. F4 to lock. The column index that I want to return is the fourth column over. One, two, three, four. I want the date. Actually, I'm sorry, in this case I need the fifth column over. So that's five. And I want an exact match. So zero or false. Okay. So here we have. So that looks nice. I will make one change because the starting city is the purple city. I'm just going to cut all these down and then I'm going to fill in the purple city here. And I'm just going to, just in case, uh, we have to change that in a future time. We can change this one cell here. So this is the starting city. So this is uh, city one or flight one and we can fill this down and then the final city is also happens to be the purple city okay and we could make a formula to do this nicely but to tell you the truth um, this needs to be done quickly so there it's done go ahead and delete these out to make it look a little nicer okay and then one check is we should have a total of 134 lines or various cities here so I'm gonna go ahead and count them and lo and behold we have 134 perfect so now we know each team where they start and what city they go to so let's now see how many flights each team needs the formula will be if the flight one is different than the first or starting city then we'll use one they need one flight otherwise we want a zero okay so flight one let's let's say that if the purple city is different than the blue city one otherwise zero okay so they need a flight okay let's check our formula perfect perfect okay and then we need to delete a couple formulas here okay so I believe that is correct You can just check this by using the F2 key and escape. All right, so now we have the count of the cities. Next, we need to get the actual flight costs. So here it's a little trickier uh, because the flights between these two cities is going to be di a different cost than the flight between these two cities. So what I'll do next is go back to the questions. Sorry, go back to the data tab. 
I'm actually going to name a range. I'm going to name this range. Uh, I already have named it my range. Okay, and I also want to name the columns and the rows because I'm going to do an index match in order to get the correct cost between cities. So what I need to do then is do a formula like this. Uh, we need an index and the array is my range, which is the whole table. And the row number is going to be a match of this first city in the my rows. And we want an exact match. And then the column is also going to be a match. The blue city in the my columns with an exact match. Okay. So unfortunately, that only looks in the rows for the purple city and the columns for the blue city. But what happens if it's uh, vice versa? In this case, it happens to be 146. But what happens if the purple city were in the columns and the other was in the rows? So let's just do the same exact formula. Let's paste it here. We'll just add. We'll just switch them now. So L3 and L2. Okay, so that should take care of um, any of the situations that we'll run into. Okay, and we can just get rid of all the NAs. We don't need to keep them. Okay, let's do a spot check. So flight three here is from the blue city to the red city. Let's go back to the data. And from the blue city to the red city is 335. We have 335. Perfect. Okay, another step which we can do uh, to this is just multiply all of this by uh, the, the number of teammates. So uh, we can use product, uh, this whole index match, and then in the data we can use just the squad size and lock that okay so we got the total costs and we can format that a little nicer <coughs> so we should probably be able to answer our first question now so what's the total expected number of flights for the elephants well back to our data if we find the elephants they need a total of five flights. So let's see if that's correct. We pick B. That is correct. What's the total expected flight cost for the frogs? So let's find the frogs here. I'm showing 15,246. 15,246 is the correct answer. What's the total expected flight cost for the competition? So we can just sum this entire thing. So 632,499. 632,499, very nice. What's the total cost for all flights to Lime City? All right, this is a little trickier. What we'll use is a sum product. And what we're gonna do is we'll sum uh, this array. And we wanna sum all of this when the first city is equal to to the Lime City. I'm sorry, I was working on this. All total flight costs from the Blue City. Okay, let's go ahead and answer that one. So 61803. Perfect, 61803, the total cost for our flights to the Lime City. Let's go ahead and we'll just uh, copy that formula down, change this to Lime, and then let's move it down one because now we're checking the city that we're actually flying to, not from, so we just move the entire range down, and that is 46 to 42. Perfect, 46 to 42. Now, what's the total flight cost for all flights inclusive between the dates of 11th of May and 19th of May? As we see, here's the answer, but let's go get it correct. 
uh, I think what I'll need is uh, an array that looks just like this, but that is dates because I need to look at all the dates. So I'm just going to copy this cell and we'll just go ahead and put it down here. Okay, and we don't really want column five, we want column four, which has the date. Okay. There we go. Okay. So the first date is the 11th of May. So let's go ahead and put that there. So that's uh, 2015. And then the last one was the 19th of May. So 519, 2015. So now we should be able to do a sum product um, that takes the total flight cost for all flights inclusive of those two dates. We need a sum product. So let's give a sum product and we want to sum all of this where all of this is less than or is uh, greater than or equal to the first date and where it is uh, less than or equal to the last date. Okay, so it's 129.045. 29.045. Very nice. Question seven. The organizing committee wants to assess the impact on the total flight costs if all teams start and end the tournament at the green city rather than the purple city. So what's the total expected flight cost if this happens? Okay, fine. We built this nice functionality in. So let's change this to the green city. So our total right now is the 632.499. So we change it to the green city and the total jumps to 675.843. Awesome. And the final question. Due to time or due to construction issues, all games at the blue city need to be moved to the orange city. What will be the impact on the total flight cost if this happens? Okay, let's check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and write a little sum up here at the top that just sums all of our costs right now. Okay, so it's 645, 843. Let's change this back to purple. Okay, there's our original amount. And now I'm just gonna filter this table. And we're gonna change all of the blue cities to orange city. Okay. So we want to change all the blue cities to the orange city. So that's 611.037. Okay. And then we'll change them back to the blue city. Okay. Now the difference between the two is a $21,000 decrease. 21,462 decrease. Perfect. And there you have it. All the answers to the model off Purple City worked through. Thanks very much for watching. And until the next time, keep living to excel.